Welcome back, you sexy, cute, beautiful motherfuckers. Yes, sir. We love you. Yes, sir. We love you here at the Out of Pocket Anime Podcast. I don't think love's the right word for it, but we appreciate you guys. This is our second week back. It's your boy, Blackie Chan. Comedy Hashir himself, baby. What's up? And we got a special, Uh -uh. special episode for y'all today. Not special. I should say tonight, technically, on our end. Yeah. But uh, we got Crunchyroll versus Netflix powerhouses, man. Yeah. Streaming powerhouses. Yeah, and more so not like they're duking it out or anything like that, but you know, Netflix is definitely starting to starting to show out and starting to buy more anime property. They're starting to compete. So, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're getting into that compete. market, which has got to be scary for Crunchyroll. Right. right. I do like the- wonder how much licensing plays a role in like what seasons are on Netflix, what seasons right. are on Crunchyroll. Because oftentimes you'll see on Netflix, it'll be they'll have the yeah. same anime as Crunchyroll on there, but it'll only be one season or two. Yeah, and I know like Crunchyroll has most of the exclusives, you know, like where they re- only release episodes on Crunchyroll. Mm-hmm. So they have all those relationships built up and do a lot of that, but you know, with all the crashing that Crunchyroll has been doing in the past, whenever they have a new episode or anything like that, mm-hmm. you might start to wonder where people might start switching over to Netflix to try and avoid those problems. Right. Well, and you got to think how many people who have Crunchyroll already had Netflix. You know what I right, mean? Right. Right. So if Netflix starts to amp it up and really start to go hard and get every season of every anime. You know, it's hard not to leave crunch. And, and the problem, yeah. And the problem with Netflix is that you never truly know what they're trying to do because a lot of like to get people to get into Netflix, they Mm -hmm. bought up a lot of properties. Like they brought, they bought up friends and I think parks and recs and they bought up a couple other ones Mm -hmm. that were like super crazy popular and they overpaid for them. So mm-hmm. when they went to renew, it was like the Marvel shows that they used to do on there, like Daredevil and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, The Punisher. I'm um, sure they made a fortune. Iron those, Fist, though. they did. But when it came time to renew, they overpaid for the properties. So they weren't making near as much as they probably should have. And they're mm-hmm. like, hey, we want to pay you a reasonable rate now. They're like, yeah, fuck off. We have our Or own maybe they just now. got a bigger offer from Disney. <laughs> they are they are disney's property exactly There's, it's not an offer it's, but we don't it's, know that's the company disney has so much goddamn money that it's like how are you going to compete with them in anything well i mean they're they've had all kinds of issues with disney plus it's just kind of like with crunchyroll but you would think like it, it's wild that how how long was like Netflix really started going real heavy in the anime space, probably what two or three months ago when I brought it up to you. No, no. Uh, was it that I long? Mean, I would say about a year ago they started. Uh, no, I'm it. talking like recently they fucking just started uploading like a crazy amount, like okay. Black Clover recently, like a lot of MHA recently. JJK. Like they really, yep, they really amped it up yeah. in the last few okay. months. Okay, yeah, a couple months. And yeah, and it took them. You know, you two months. Noise. It took essentially two months of Netflix starting to starting to take animes for Crunchyroll to finally make one big change, which was doing the profiles for mm-hmm. different people. Right? I like, would, I, yeah. I yeah. fucking I was like, dude, it took what? long enough. Yeah, and I was always bitching about that. I think I've said that this, in one of our past episodes. Well, and the first time we got it, the first thing we said was, "Oh shit, there's no, yeah, no profiles." Yeah, and so when you're watching something that I'm watching or something I want to watch, like, mm-hmm. for instance, you were running through Bleach for a while, mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, do I, and I don't think it's on there. I think we were watching that on Hulu. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when you're watching a long show like that, let's say you're watching it, I would go, okay, I want to rewatch it then. Mm-hmm. Then you would have to remember where you left off because we only have the one profile. Yeah. So if you're on season seven, episode 190, Mm-hmm. And I'm on season three, episode 47. We have to keep track of that because it's going to stop wherever the most recent person stopped. And yeah. that's obnoxious. Absolutely obnoxious. Knowing Absolutely. damn well um, accounts are shared. And on, 
And on top of that, how long Crunchyroll's been around, and I know how much fucking money they make. You know what I mean? Like, they make mm-hmm. a good amount of money. Oh, like, yeah. Like, they're the anime space. Yeah. Nobody... Yeah. Yeah, it's the safest anime outlet. You could yeah, they had, have. like, there was Funimation for a while, and I think it was actually Funimation who bought out Crunchyroll. And just kept um, it at Crunchyroll? And just kept it as Crunchyroll. And I'm not sure, it might have been Crunchyroll buying out Funimation, but I'm pretty sure it's Funimation buying out Crunchyroll. It's a pretty solid uh brand. When you what, think Crunchyroll? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, why change? It's more popular than Funimation. Solid. But that yeah. was the only thing that was relatively close to kind of pushing it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they weren't doing the best job. And then you have High Dive that's out right now. And they're they're the place they have the exclusive rights to uh, Oshinoko. Ah. That's why you can't find Oshinoko on, on Crunchyroll or anywhere else. Imagine how much bigger. Do you think Oshinoko would have won Anime of the Year had it been on every platform? You know. It's interesting because I think the answer is yes. Because how big did it get on just right. that one well, platform? Well, exactly. And here's the thing about Oshinoko being on that platform, right? It's like when we did our Oshinoko episode, it mm-hmm. wasn't one of our biggest episodes, but it was the most diverse episode. So we had girls watching and we had, you know, like different age groups watching and stuff like it that. So a lot. So although I don't think it's, as totally popular as some of the other ones that were in there for mm-hmm. like anime of the year, I think just in sheer like it hits so many different groups. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like yeah, I guess what hit, hit what I'm trying to say. You're you the know, worst. You're the you're the absolute worst. A lot of different mm-hmm. women. I know. I get it. You're the worst. I hate you. <laughs> um, but like, for instance, I love Demon Slayer. Right. You do. The swordsmith art. I love love that art. It was up for anime of the year. Um, If JJK is in that same category for anime of the year, me as an anime fan, I'm split. Mm -hmm. I can only vote for one. So they're essentially taking votes from each other. Meanwhile, you got Oshinoko, who may not be as popular as both of those, but Mm -hmm. they're not splitting anybody's votes. They're taking all the votes for the people who aren't into the shonen anime. You know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. And so I think if it had more, I was like, "What not, was your point?" <laughs> yeah, if it if it had more exposure, me. if it had more exposure on a bigger platform, yeah. it would definitely have have a better chance at winning, for that reason, right? Because it pulls so many different groups to vote. Yeah, well, and you know, for it not being a shonen, you know, I I again, I don't know the statistics, I don't know the. In and out numbers, no, and and keep in mind, guys, we also have not looked up on anything on the Netflix Crunchyroll <laughs> or why they're adding it. We're just fucking free balling it here, baby. <laughs> We're, free We're letting it all hang. We're fucking Winnie the Pooh in it. We don't know up. how far ahead Crunchyroll like technically is. You know what I mean? Right. Statistically, yeah. Um, we just know they're ahead in regards right. to the anime scene. So, yeah, it is crazy to see, um, yeah. the impact that multiple streaming platforms for whatever anime you created plays a role in its popularity and its fucking outreach right and then like with netflix too it's such a big conglomerate like if they want to destroy crunchyroll that's what i'm saying like they probably could right because netflix is like universal it's worldwide like worldwide yep whereas crunchyroll is it worldwide? It, it's close. It is. It is for anime, yeah. I was yeah, about I think, for anime, but... Yeah, I think if you go to different countries and ask them where they watch their anime, most of them would say Crunchyroll. Right, but the industry of what Netflix encapsulates... Yeah, Netflix is, is ten times way bigger, bigger. Because it doesn't cater to just anime people. It's, right. I mean, most of the people I know that didn't like anime, that started watching an anime, usually found that anime on Netflix. Yeah, but you do gotta think, they got all of Asia... You know what I mean? Like Crunchyroll has a massive, yeah. Base. Remember, guys, we're saying all of this with no facts or statistics. <laughs> I was about to say we got to be careful too, because a lot there's a lot of Asian people out there. What? Why would we be careful? We're not saying anything bad about them. No, no, I'm saying we got to be careful. <laughs> so about, what are like, we being careful? What are you thinking about? How big? What Netflix are you thinking right now? We all know what he's roll. thinking, right? We're all. Are you just gonna talk here. over me while I'm trying That's to make my point? That's one hundred percent what I was gonna you do. Motherfucker. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I wanted them to listen to me. Unbelievable. And not you. Unbelievable. Clarifying what you said. Did, what I did I just? What point did Asians. I just make? I don't know. I was talking exactly. over you, dude. You don't. Exactly. You fucking asshole. I wasn't arguing. You're that. an asshole. <laughs> Admit it. No. Now I'm a dick. Bit of a prick. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Asshole, yeah. dick. That's not the same. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah. One takes it. One gives it. Right. Yeah, that's I'm the right. giver. You're the taker. We all know it. No, that's you power yeah, bottom bitch. You. You're yeah, disgusting. you fuck back for sure. You called. Me <laughs> you just called me disgusting. I bet. I bet you cuddle ago. afterwards. I bet you do. Are you, you done do. or you finished? I've been are you done. done. I'm not finished yet. Are you finished? <laughs> yeah. So your point being, uh, we got to be careful because you're about you have bad thoughts about Asians. Continue. What? Because I have bad thoughts about Asians. Yeah. So you're like, we got to be careful. Where did you get that from? I made it up right now. It's a real story. <laughs> I just made up. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad so to see good. your imagination is still. I try, man. <laughs> it's still right. going. Continue with your point. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> I had a point. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I forgot. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> wasn't joking. Been, I thought he was joking. I thought no. he really forgot. <laughs> he really no, forgot I, his I point. I definitely forgot. I definitely did. Guys, just so you guys know, I'm looking at you, the viewer. That's how you win arguments. You just keep talking long enough for them to forget the point they were trying to make. That's yeah. how you turn yourself into a winner. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with Crunchyroll and Netflix kind of going at it now, do you think Netflix? is really going after the anime market or do you think they're just trying to pull the big ones like they're just trying to pull majority of people because it could be either or right like the animes they added on are are big animes and so are they just trying to like get the bulk of people to start fucking with netflix from the anime world or do you think they're really trying to step on crunchyroll's toes um, no, I just think they're trying to get the bolt. I think they're you just think going so? for the, the, the heart and soul of anime. So you don't think they're going to start trying to buy up little, little licenses here and there for all the animes? You think I they're mean, just going to stick to the big brand names? I don't know. Long term, I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen within a year. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't no, know. No, it's going to take time before licensing right. are available. But your best guess, Ultimately, just random probably, guessing. Probably, like you, you would think, anybody who's dabbling in it, if it's going well, as anime is fucking right. growing astronomically. Yeah, it's um, like why not? And then have you yeah. you haven't watched any of their like original animes on there yet, have you? Because I don't think we've covered any yet. Um, but but like their original animes that they only have, that they have exclusive rights to, they're kind of fucking fire. They got some bangers what are on some there. Of those? They got Cyberpunk. That shit was fucking good. Um, they got... Keep in mind, guys, I want you guys to know. It's for the viewers out there. Cyberpunk, not as great as you guys make it out to be. It was good. Fine. I enjoyed it. Not fucking so life-changing. that's changing. like Chainsaw Man? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It has that kind of following. Mm. Yep. Um, but I actually liked Cyberpunk a little more than, than Chainsaw Man. Uh, what else? They had Pluto. Which was really fucking good. I didn't expect it to be that good, but it's really good. Um, it takes place in the same universe as Astro Boy. Hmm. Yeah, so Pluto's really good. Um, Blue Eyed Samurai is fucking fire. Mm -hmm. That shit is fucking dope. Uh, but other than that, like those. Oh, Baki. Baki is pretty good too. Uh, Record of Ragnarok. Yeah, a lot of their like original content that they only do. The Seven Deadly Sins. Fuck, man. They're kind of killing it right now. Now, are you saying like they only do as in they got the rights first? Because yeah. these are mangas turned animes, right? Yeah, yeah, they have the rights exclusively. Okay, I thought like you were High saying Dive. that they created these. Oh animes no 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 no! no. Scratch, yeah, that's yeah. Not what it sounded like you were implying. Okay, yep, my bad. Nope, nope. Like they got the they got the agreement. They got they, the rights to the manga. Yeah, they're first. Netflix shows. Right, anime. You know, yeah. yeah, right, anime shows. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I and didn't so know Cyberpunk kinda, was. I know there's a lot of cosplay going on for that. <laughs> a fuck ton. Jesus, girls. You were like, pick hey, you someone else. <laughs> yep. You see that girl with the, with her titties out? That, yeah, yep. that's Cyberpunk. You see that girl over there with her vagina out? That's Cyberpunk right there. Dude, you that's that got to be 
in all the conventions that we've gone to and all the TikToks I've seen and everything like that, she is easily number one. That chick from Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah, Lucy, I think is her name. She is easily number one in the most cosplayed by girls. Mm. Like, not even close. Yeah. Not even close. Is it because her titties are out? or? Um, I think... I think it's nice, be- nice ass or I mean she's a baddie for sure. Uh mm-hmm. but I think they did that because she feminine? She soft. everything's out and it's a sexy outfit, but it's also <laughs> like covered. You huh. know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. It it's hard to explain it. You'd have to see it again. You'd have yeah. to see it again to explain it. But like that like me, that's I not my cup of tea. They- I just knew that they had titties out and ass out. That's all I yeah, remember. Yeah, that's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea is the Your Forger, where people are doing the, uh, and you haven't watched that one yet, Spy Family, but people do the, the uh, red sweater mm-hmm. cosplay, where it's just like a big long, I know I've pointed it out to you. And so, but yeah, yeah that that's more of my go-to. For you guys who know what I'm talking about, like I like a, you know, a nice, sexy, covered up girl. Yeah, I don't. I like them titties out. I like that right. ass out. Yeah. Um Fuck it. I think I think that uh you know All right. Great it won't point. ever hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> it won't ever hurt nobody when there's it ass won't hurt nobody. Out. All right. You um know? I mean, what if there's a fire? They're going to be less protected. But it's not going to hurt them. I don't. I don't. Would think that's you rather die works. by a fire and look at some ass and titties, or die by a fire and not look at? I mean, if those are my options, obviously I'm gonna go with look at ass and titties and die. I'm not just Case gonna die. Like if they're like, "Hey, you're dying. Do you want to see ass and titties?" I'm not gonna be like, "No, let right. me die without seeing them." Right, like, because there's no negative. Here? That's my point. There's no negative to seeing some ass and some titties. If I agree, can we move on? I mean, it's not about a green. I'm just. I just want to get out. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the green. Yeah. I'm just it's letting you argument. know <laughs> where I'm at. Argument. We're on the same page. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. But yeah. yeah. You... No. Um. Crunchyroll needs to step it up. I think. I think that um Netflix is is on their ass in regards to you know not like you know fucking like. We're right behind you. We're right behind you. But more of like, hey, we're chilling, but we're also grabbing all the big shit that's going down. So JJK. Yeah, I think. The Attack on Titan, Naruto, all the big shit. One Piece. Like they right. did Netflix live action. Like they're starting to go crazy yeah. with live actions. And yeah, shit. they got so, the My Hero one in the works. Uh, Naruto one in the works. Yep. Like, oh, shit. I said his name right. Fuck yeah, yeah. You didn't let's say, go. You didn't say Naruto. Oh my. Yeah, God. let's go. I've gotten better. I've been trying. I've been practicing nice. around the house. Yeah, you got the headband I've been picking on up clothes. Everything. Yep, I've been picking up clothes like Naru- Naruto. Naruto. Like no, no, Shane, no. Yeah, buddy. Give All me right. some. Uh, but like, I He's think that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that like with Netflix, <laughs> I, I think it's a very calculated move. Because if you look at like the major streaming platforms out of there, right, like HBO Max, um, Crunchyroll, Disney Plus, Disney Plus, dude, yeah, if you think of the major over. ones, I think the easiest one to go after, or the weakest link in that, would be Crunchyroll, because Crunchyroll, the platform, has so many problems. And think about it, how long has it been out? How long has Crunchyroll been out? How long have they been the biggest anime subscription service? Right, like. It's been around for years, and you're just now adding profiles. Like we're still, I mean, what I mean, JJK? What else would you have them at? Well, but like, but like JJK, um, that didn't that break the internet? So it, we couldn't get on Crunchyroll when JJK yeah, dropped. Yeah, but that broke the. We fucking, couldn't get. We that couldn't broke get on the fucking app. That's what I'm saying. Is is that it broke the app? Demon Slayer broke the app. Uh, fucking. Yeah, but those are like record breaking um, situations. You know what I mean? And Attack on Titan broke the app. Like my Each point one being of is those that were record breaking. Yeah, but my point is is that like when the first one happens, once you put things in place to get oh, more servers dude. to handle more traffic for when you have highly anticipated easy. stuff like that. I don't think I it's know that it's easy. not that easy, but you're a multi billion dollar company. Like I, I mean 
Like hard, it should be it done. should be that easy when you make that much money. Nah, I disagree. I think uh Netflix has had big shows that haven't done that. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, but Netflix isn't in the same realm. What do you mean? Like Netflix is like a broad ass American centralized um streaming platform versus Crunchyroll is specific to anime. It's very niche. It doesn't have as many it has to be more focal. Right. And that's that's kind of my point, is that right. if well, Netflix hops into the game, they're in a better position to handle traffic like that, to do stuff like that. That's not so what you're saying. It is what I'm saying. I'm saying that they're doing shit like that, and they're not improving. They're not doing anything to change it. Netflix has the ability because they have more resources right, but you to were just change that stuff. On Crunchyroll is my yes, point. because they haven't changed. I don't yeah, think you're getting the connection here. No, I'm not because Netflix has more money. They have right. a bigger service. Yes. That's different when you have more money. I'm not saying that it's not different. I'm saying that because Crunchyroll can't do it, regardless of the reason, they can't do it, right? No, not regardless of the money. You could say it's because of the, the money, you could say it's because, the money because it's the not getting reason, done. That's the only you, reason Because that's the reason they're doing it, they're not able to do it is not the point. The point is they're not able to do it, period. Yeah, but you're pointing to they have money, so they should be able to do it. That's I'm, your point. I think they should, but that's what that, I'm that, was a, that was a side note. That had nothing to do with the point that I was, was proving. That was the main point, was that they have money, they're not doing it to the I'm level They that should Netflix. spend the money to do it. They right. should. But we don't know where their allocations are going. Right. Now, with that being said, the whole point of what I'm trying to say is that Netflix can do it. Which Crunchyroll it. needs to try and figure something out to be able to do it. Because if Netflix can get all that shit down, they start buying up IP properties, it's not going to be a situation where they can compete. Yeah, because they're just outgunned. They don't right. have enough money. Right. I mean, that's They're outgunned company. completely. Nobody has as much money as Netflix. Right. Nobody's disagreeing with that. And I'm saying they picked on Crunchyroll because Crunchyroll's in the weakest position. They're not in the weakest position. They're in the strongest. In the anime scene? I'm talking of all the competitors. Oh, of Disney Plus, of... Uh, Max and stuff like that. Max. Well, That's yeah, how I course. started my point. Yeah. Is yeah. I was like they. Yeah, Plus, I was like, hey, HBO Max. Or, yeah, I was like, hey, Netflix is trying to take yeah. somebody down. Yeah. If you look at the major competitors, they can't take down Max like that. They no, can't take down not. Disney Plus like that. None of those Crunchyroll are out of out of those three, Crunchyroll is the weakest link. That's obvious. That's what I'm saying is that's why they're going after Crunchyroll right now. <laughs> well, why did you go into the big ass explanation just to say that? You asked. I can't remember what you asked, but you asked something to get me there. No, you. Let no, you asked what there. can they change? You asked what can they change? Right. Because and I, I said stuff you on like the that of the reasoning behind. Yeah. Crunchyroll. And I said and stuff like, like that's well, that's what caused that matter. town. <laughs> that's like, what that's what changed I get it. that reasons don't matter. My whole point was asking. OK, that works. <laughs> that's fine by me do you think Crunchyroll's perfect as is they don't need to change anything yeah they definitely need to step it up I don't know in what realm though I couldn't tell you because when you're talking about the leap and bounds of money of how much Netflix has mm -hmm. they can just get bought out like if Netflix really wanted to they could probably buy that's, that's a very interesting concept that I actually didn't think about yeah. is why compete when you can just buy them out it's Nike one on one, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Disney. Why 101. compete? Why compete when you can just buy them out? Because I wouldn't be shocked if Disney just makes a jump and buys them out, but they're a yeah. little too cookie cutter. Yeah, and you know it's funny you said the Nike one on one. It's funny because when you say that Nike, if they couldn't buy out their competitors, what they did a lot of times is they b bought out the creative people behind their competitors. Yeah, like a and new. So innovation yeah they're like oh and they would just license it yeah and they're like oh and one we can't buy you guys okay well we know who created your shoe that's the real gold right there we're gonna pay him a lot of money to come design shoes for us now you guys are fucked anyways and so right. crunchyroll i mean not crunchyroll netflix well, could and, even go that route where well, it's and, like oh we're not gonna buy you out okay well we're gonna just start loading up on your licensing so you guys lose that shit we'll pay extra because we're fucking netflix so we have the money and right. we'll fucking do it that way. So I wonder, I wonder what goes into that buyout. You know what I mean? 
Right. Well, and they can also buy you out of stores in regards to they don't need the licensing. They don't need um, to buy your company. They can buy the slots in the store just because they'll pay that much more to ensure no other shoe is being sold in that store. That's how intense Nike gets in regards to how they compete. Right. It's pretty wild. And and that's outside of an Under Armour store. You can't, you know, they have their own store. That's different. Right. It's like the general stores where they'll fucking buy you out. And and yeah. that's what I think Netflix probably should do because of how big anime is getting. What, we'll buy out it. Crunchyroll? I mean, well, and again. What are you saying? They should do what? They they should probably try to buy them out in a, in a way. Okay. I think that's how massive anime is. Is becoming. Yeah, I think I think if there's ever a time to put all your chips in one basket, I do agree that now is that time for anime wise. Like if there was a time for you to be like, hey, I want to get in on this. I mean, scratch that. The best time is right before it hits, right? Mm -hmm. Like the best time to get in on anything is right before it gets popular. Right. Because then you're getting shit for cheap. But with that being, you know, that you being prevalent. Ten years ago. Yeah, you'd be sitting on it for 10 years, and now you're, you'd be fucking balling out of control be, now. Yeah, so w let's take that out of the equation, because that's in any scenario. It's always better to buy anything before it blows up. So if we right. take that out of the scenario, and we look at just, like, the terms of rapid growth, like, right now is the best time to dive in and try and capitalize off anime. It's never been more popular. And it can't get any less. You, that's my point, is, like, how could I mean, anime possibly get less? That's what you yeah. have to think about when you. I mean, in I guess in an abstract, how could it get less? in an abstract world, I guess it could. I don't know how that would happen. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be devil's advocate here, and the problem is, is I agree with your point, so it's really hard <laughs> to be devil's advocate. Like, I don't think it. I, it can't. It just can't. How? Like, I would love someone in the comments who's watching. Like, it would. This it would have to be write a, down a, how they could ruin anime. Like, it would have to be a dark run, right? A dark run of animes, just where it's just no good animes for years. How consistent is anime, generally? Yeah, because if there's so generally. many different creators. Yeah. And, you and know, so... Yeah, it's not I that they're, they're dog shit, you know what I mean? It's not like there's one creator who's really right. good and everybody else sucks. We're talking about a fucking damn good amount of content being consistently placed. Like Food Wars? Right. That's very niche, and it's a very yeah. fucking good anime. Yeah, so hard to explain to people if you got caught very watching it. Very hard. <laughs> if they're if someone doesn't watch anime and they walk in and you're watching Food Wars, you're like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I swear it's not what it looks like, right. but it is. <laughs> but it's not like you just don't understand, like. Right, but for that to be as R rated as it is, and for it, to that's still... a fucking weird one, dude. I can only imagine how much money it's generated. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see. Yeah, it's just a massive, massive uh, industry. It's so big. There's so many animes. I mean, like, I always think competition's good, right? Like, especially in a situation where Crunchyroll had so much power in the anime world. Like, it's frustrating because there's nothing to push them to get better. So I think with Netflix, I think it'll help push them forward a little quicker mm -hmm. because I think, I don't know. I don't know. Do, if... do you think that the strategy Netflix should take, and, and let's hypothetically think here. Right, right. If they're trying to overtake Crunchyroll, but in a smooth, nonchalant like slowly, way. slowly. Right, where it's like not slowly pick, like pick, buy and everything. And pick and pick. Right, but if you're going to pick, 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 would you go the Oshinoko route where you wait until a manga is massive? Like right before it gets sold to anybody, and then compete with other streaming platforms to get that one manga that's selling outrageously, like a Blue Lock, like a Ocean right. Loco, something like that. Or would you try to double down, similar to what they're doing now, and go and then just keep adding? JJK as you go went along. crazy. I'm gonna add JJK, but just the first season. I'm gonna go ahead and take that option. That. Yeah, where you're slowly addling at addling. <laughs> I don't even know what I combined it that with. <laughs> combined it? What is happening? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Shane is here to stay. <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. 
<laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. <laughs> Apparently, I had a stroke. Uh, yeah, just a slight yeah. one. Yeah, but I would do the slow adding. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that would fucking, I had to stick That's what that you landing. Combined it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I had to take a breath afterwards and a pause to make sure I listened to myself say it right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I nailed it. Now you can nailed continue. It. No, no. Uh, but because, and the reason I do that is because we've already seen, like, the, the one you gave, Oshinoko, is a perfect example of how it doesn't work. High dive got the exclusive rice at Oshinoko. It's phenomenal. It's great. I loved it. I know people who don't really care for anime. They loved it. Like, I've seen a lot of people really enjoy that show. High Dive just took themselves out of, like, eight different countries a few months ago because they don't have the money to to operate in a whole bunch of different <laughs> yeah, countries. But, like, it didn't help them at all high dive to add shit. a big show. You can't but that's compare my... High Dive to... So... You okay, can't. so that's then their strategy, but their strategy was stupid because because they weren't already big. So you're saying with because Netflix is already big, that would have a different effect. Yeah, and for those in the audience who know this, um, fuck, uh, what was the Xbox streaming service that came out? Um, Xbox Live. No, um, they bought Ninja and Shroud. Fuck, man, I'm gonna lose it, but they went under. And long story short, was they Twitch? You know about Twitch? They yeah, they're yeah. the biggest streaming gaming. Yeah, yeah I know. So, Twitch. Uh, the Microsoft created their own streaming service. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but their strategy was to buy the biggest names on Twitch, and ultimately they paid absurd amount of money for exclusive rights to those big streamers. Was this the streaming platform place that said, uh, like, they'll pay people, like, $18 an hour guaranteed to stream full-time? I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, fair enough. How long but ago was this? It was a few years ago. It was, like, I want to say a year after COVID. Is so it Kick? Is that what it's Not called? Kick. It's the one right before that that was Microsoft. Um. Yeah, look it up. Go ahead and look it up, because it's gonna eat at me. I'm gonna keep going yeah, back to it and keep thinking about too. it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I believe in you. Fuck. You can find it. But is Kick an actual streaming service? Like, is that one of them? Um. Yes. So that one's a new one that came out. That's doing the same thing that Xbox is okay. trying to do. Okay. So All right. So that's so I wasn't streamer. I wasn't like crazy. I'll just off. use that because I'm not gonna All sit right. here and search for it. But right. Um. Yeah. So kick. Let's say that for instance. That's what they're mm. trying to do. But this company went under because they didn't realize you needed to um set up Already the platform. The you yeah, like the platform was crucial. And right. If you didn't have an amazing platform already. You can't just go out and buy the biggest name. You, you right. had to have the X's and O's crossed, and they didn't. They went under. Those guys got paid out. The guys who got fucking hired on got paid out like three years early, and Fuck they went yeah. right back. To so Twitch. they could close out the contract. That's how much. That's wild when people are losing that much money. Yeah, because I bet those streamers were making in the millions. Those uh -huh. big names. They were. They're like multi million dollar contracts. Yeah. And they were like, we plan to lose so much money trying to do this that we're willing to just pay you ninety million dollars to get the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like Unreal. It's crazy when A, you have that much money to toss around, and B, when you know by the by the end of their contract, you would lose so much more than that. Right. And the they lucked out that they're with Microsoft, right? Microsoft mm -hmm. is the only company that could yeah. afford to do what they did. Yeah, pretty much. So they had another company <laughs> finance a big, a big name that company failure. Financing. Yeah, and I might be wrong because uh, I don't double check everything, and I just read stuff and keep it moving. But I'm pretty sure Sony was the big company behind Funimation. Yes, and and Sony's a part of Microsoft. Yeah, I think Sony bought was was the the. Yeah the parent company of Funimation, which is why I think it was them who bought out Crunchyroll. Okay. Because I think it was Sony who owns Crunchyroll now. And yeah. if that's the case, and they're a Microsoft product, then let's, let's fucking do better with our platform. Yeah, All right? they've been fucking up quite a bit. 
No, they're not keeping up with times. They were the right. powerhouse and back just, in the day. Like, and but, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not intuitive. The people, yeah, they're not hiring the new minds. You know what I mean? Right. Old and busted. <laughs> new hotness. New, new hotness. And they, they right. ain't doing that. They ain't yeah. doing it. I just, like, why? They're not doing it, Comedy Hasha. And here's the thing, too, right? So if you're, they're not doing it. <laughs> they're not doing it. They're not doing so it. So what was you going to say? Uh, fucking, I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> okay, I remember now. I remember yeah, now. Yeah. So if I'm Crunchyroll, and I start to see that Netflix is buying up all this IP for mm-hmm. anime, right? Wouldn't I now really kick into full gear to try and compete with them and make sure I yeah. keep those people with me? Yeah, it depends on how you think, right? Are you thinking from a competitive standpoint, or are you thinking from a I could just sell my company so standpoint? Uh, competitive, right. competitive. So because I'm assuming that's what they're gonna want to do. Yeah, right? and if you're gonna do that, you buy as many production companies as possible. Um, I think that's the realm you tap into the the anime production companies. So I you pull like an Amazon you and them. you just buy all the people who are doing the, who what are creating. You're and because then you just clearly, create your own property. Netflix is either that's licensing actually, or buying the pr- production. I was going to say that's actually probably more of the Netflix model anyways than Amazon. Right. Yeah, Netflix definitely fucking does that shit. Right. Yeah, so, they're like, oh, you're, good, you're a good showrunner? Okay, you're hired. Right. Like, you guys are the ones who are actually putting these mangas yeah. in the... Yeah, I wonder what it's like having too much money to fail. What do you think that's like? Yeah, being Amazon. Right? Get one fucking, like, if I get, like, let's say, let's say I go to deposit a check, right? If I go and deposit a check, if I get one digit wrong on a check I potentially deposit, I'm out $100, right? Mm -hmm. When you're at a company like that, if you move one decimal over and one, now you're off, like, millions of dollars. Like, what's it like to have that kind of money? I wonder. Yeah, and, and. How does it all make its way back to you being a billionaire? You know what I mean? Right. Like, you have so much money that you generate, and yet you can pay yourself that amount of money. Yeah. And hire that many people. Right. It's like, who decides that, man? I'm assuming boards <laughs> decide it. <laughs> right? Mathematic maticians. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the, like, governing boards always decide how much the CEO makes. Right, but usually the CEO has but a seat on that gotta, board. But you and... also have to have the money to pay yourself that much, right? You know what I mean? It's like you could want to have ten million each year. If your g- company's only generating ten million, you're not. Yeah, that's a that's a problem I'll never. But understand. yeah, Netflix, <laughs> Netflix is a classic example of are they too big to fail? If they really wanted to just throw their money at anime, could they fail? You know, here's the thing. I I think they do have too much money to fail because I don't know how many documentaries I've watched over the past few years, how many articles and YouTube videos I've seen where they're like, Netflix is struggling. Netflix is sinking. And I'm like, dude, they just added like 40 new shows this month. <laughs> like, it seems like they're doing okay. Like, and I think I think it's just all perception like right? they went from the well, biggest to now well, they're a subsector no like different. perception in the sense you're not wrong on that but that's not the route i'm going oh, okay so when i say when i say perception because you're right but i'm talking about a different aspect of it okay. but when i say like perception i think like all right so when you when you're when a public or when a company is publicly traded and you see their stocks their stocks going up and down aren't necessarily like coincided with how much money they're making or losing. If that makes sense. So the company as a whole could have made $15 million more this year than they did last year. But their stocks might be $3 down. And it's like, how does that possible? How's that happen? And that's a long that's a long explanation that I'm not going to get into because it has nothing to do with anime. But my point in that is that people, when they're talking about it, like being down and, you know, Netflix is struggling recently because they're doing this, this and that. 
I don't think that's what's actually happened. I don't think it's like we're not making money. I think it's just they're not perceived to be this fucking hit on everything company anymore. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I think it's just people moving the goalposts right, on Netflix. And, yeah, to drive home my point, which you had already agreed to as well, um, the other side of it too is that there's so many other streaming platforms out and that it takes away from that persona. Um, right. Of, and of those streaming the platforms one. And, you know, it's tricky because they always ask, you know, what's better? Is it better to be first to the market or the best on the market? Right. And Netflix was definitely one one of the first to the market. Yeah. And they happen to be one of the best. But all these other companies started I think they so the many years. Risk too. Yeah. One hundred percent. Like biggest risk. Yeah. Considering how big they were. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it's like all these other companies like Max, Disney Plus, they were like three or four years behind netflix right so well, it's, they it's, were able to launch with with all this knowledge of what netflix already did right well and who would have known streaming would have come to this point? i know man it is dominating and i mean regular television i mean when you were when you were watching anime as a kid did you ever think anime would get to this level of popularity hell no not a fucking chance dude hell no uh-uh, not a fucking chance. Not the chance. way we were getting made fun of. Nah. Fuck, dude. Nope. You couldn't fucking utter the I words. Never, Naruto I never. In front of your I never. I never would have thought. <laughs> you gotta even keep that shit hold bro, deep inside. I'm saying, like, even like this big boom that we're seeing, I would even argue that I wouldn't have thought this was possible ten years ago. Back when I was like twenty three, twenty four. Yeah. yeah. I would have never thought. 10 years ago let alone as a kid but yeah. 10 years ago i'd have been like you guys have been like yeah it's one of the it's fucking huge like, everybody no, fuck loves no. it everybody watches that but like, get the no. fuck out of here yeah that's right. not the case that's bullshit like, that's not happening like i would say this rap growth really started during covid yeah people just running out of things to watch and giving things a chance you know what i mean yeah and that made them even more money so and that's like, really all you need with shit. anime man you just need you just need to find the right one at the right time because yeah. there's so many out there, there's literally something for everybody. Yeah, I think I think Crunchyroll is honestly too big to fail too. Even if Netflix full dived in, unless Netflix buys them out, I think you think that's I the think only Crunchyroll way Crunchyroll is, goes. Right. I think the only way Crunchyroll goes down is if Netflix, Netflix outright them. buys them and just offers them a ridiculous amount of money, and they're like, yeah, Fuck which I wonder what that number would be. <laughs> yeah. It would have to be like in the like six hundred million, right? It'd have to be somewhere nah, around there. Nah, it's you think well it'd be over more? a billion. Well um, over a billion dollar company. Let me see. I'm gonna look up real quick what Crunchyroll sold for. Let's see. What did Crunchyroll sell? Oh damn. Okay. Side note, I was right. Crunchyroll was bought by Funimation, who is owned by Sony. Sony. Right. And Sony so, is owned by Microsoft. Right. But yeah, so I when I had said <laughs> that originally, I wasn't sure if I was right on that or not. Uh-huh. But I was right. Uh here's your guess. All right. So they bought it in twenty twenty one, so three years ago. What do you think they bought Crunchyroll for? A billion, at least, maybe two. A billion is your answer, though. Yeah, that was pretty fucking close. One point two billion. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, no, I would have been like, yo, one point five, just to be in between. But that's that yeah, one point two billion. So I was nowhere close. Yeah, I would have been like, yeah, they would have had to pay six hundred million now <laughs> to buy it. Like fucking three Absolutely years ago, not. it was one point two billion. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so yeah, great job, but, great job, comedy Hashira, jackass. Right. Well, and, th- and that was my point where it was like, you know, it being that much worth that much now, mm-hmm. or back then, gotta be um, what five billion now, right? Right, and even then, I don't think they would. I think they would have to pay like ten billion or something. You like think, that. They like, would have to overpay, something like overpaying like you're right. paying for the future of it. Right. So, yep. 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 You know what I mean? And you're paying for what it could be now. 
the how fast it's growing. It's absurd. Yeah, and you would think if they bought over Crunchyroll and brought all that whole catalog, the growth and the amount of money Netflix would make would be more than what Crunchyroll would make with. And imagine if they had a ground team. Imagine if Crunchyroll. What do you mean a ground team? Imagine if Crunchyroll invested in um conventions like consistent conventions in big big cities all across. Oh, and like US, and like had their own Japan, convention versus yeah. So no, you're saying and, if Crunchyroll had their own. Like, not necessarily like one big crunchy roll in every. No, I meant convention. Okay, yeah, I that mean, is like, what I meant. Yeah, like a bunch of different like pay pe- like invest in Uwu Khan and like be the executive the producer sponsor of Uwu. Yes. the sponsor like okay spend money out and about because I get what you're saying. You now. know what I mean? Okay. I feel like yeah. you would also encourage more people to sign up. Yeah, and it sucks because I know th- at the big, big, big ones, like the New York one, um, the LA Expo one, all that stuff, the big ones, Crunchyroll does a booth there, and it's usually the biggest booth. Mm-hmm. Um, But to your point, that's not what you're saying. What you're saying is like, hey, B-A- this is Uwukon sponsored by Crunchyroll. Yeah, so 20% and they're just, yeah. S- sponsored by us, we take 20%. Of right, right, right. Overall. Right, based on what we can provide, that would be interesting because then it's really you're just giving it to established cons and just kind of raking in whatever or whatever the case may be, right? How right. whatever you work out with them, um, right? And, and you wouldn't have to do that any could planning. Be a bigger you venue wouldn't... that could be, you know, providing a certain aspect to the con that mm-hmm. maybe the smaller companies aren't aren't too fond of, you know? Yeah, um, getting something because if you could create uwu cons to become fan fusions. Just because of the amp- amplified amount of money you can provide for them, right? I to mean, make imagine, it bigger and get right. more guests, and, and and potentially even promote it better. So having it right. in commercials, having it on the streets, yeah, on the on the stream, on the ground, and stuff like that, yeah, that would be interesting to see how big Gr- Crunchyroll could become if they did that. Yeah. Also, I will I will say because I haven't, I've always had the same Netflix plan. I've never changed. From when Netflix was back, like fucking five ninety nine or whatever it was when it started. Um, obviously my amount's gone up, but I by that I mean I've always had the no ads on mine, mm-hmm. even when they changed it over. So, how do you think Crunchyroll? Because all these platforms have gone to ads at some point, where it's like, yeah, you not. can get ads, or you, you can, can pay, pay additional three dollars and not get ads. Do you think they're gonna eventually end up there? Yeah, because yeah. I can't think of one company that hasn't. That hasn't. Yeah, it's almost like it's you have to to be viable. And at that point, it's like you're watching regular TV. The whole reason we got off regular TV, was dude, this, they're fucking rad. smart, man. These yeah. fucking jackasses thought this shit. Once they through. realize they're too big, yeah, they're like, they're oh, okay, we're gonna not do ads and commercials, and that's how we're gonna get people. And then once and we then get guess an what? Amount, once we get them and we make cable TV obsolete, we're gonna become cable TV ourselves, and we're gonna add to in commercials. A smarter degree. Yeah, to, I think the only keep difference. Cable TV out. Yeah, I will say the one thing that they did that would make it better than cable TVs, where I wouldn't be mad that cable TV left, is with cable, there each show comes on at a specific time. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you can go into like on demand and watch it, but a lot of times you couldn't. Right. And so with Netflix, Netflix and like Crunchyroll stuff, you can go watch it at any time, and you as wouldn't miss it as many times as you want. Yep. And so I think I think if even if Netflix or Crunchyroll and all of them became more like TV, I'd be more okay with it than TV because of that in particular. Yeah. Man, a yeah, lot of money. Well, <laughs> that's Fucking. all I can keep thinking of is that he, both of them have just an absurd amount of money and for Crunchyroll to do what it's done and not have any commercials in anything mm. any way is amazing do you think Crunchyroll is gonna like do you think this is gonna put change anything for them or are they gonna be like hey we're already killing it let's just keep doing what we do I think they're just gonna keep doing what they do you think so and try to buy as many mangas as possible to produce See, that's interesting because it's like, I think one of those things, I think this is where, I think you're right. 
But I think you're right because I think this is one of those things where Netflix is so big. I think in your head you're like, well, if they're going to beat us, there's nothing we could do about it. So why spend the money because they're so big? Like, we'd never be able to compete with them. If right. they want to crush us, they'll crush us. Mm -hmm. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Right? Easy like to that, that. that makes Yeah, that makes sense to me. It's not what I would do. I would what go would broke. Do? I would go. I'd probably sell sell them Crunchyroll. I'd approach them. <laughs> you'd be but Crunchyroll. If, you'd wait. You'd be Crunchyroll selling if, Netflix. If I'm Crunchyroll uh -huh. and I'm in this position, I'd reach out to Netflix and sell. I would strike while the iron's hot. Right. Because imagine is this popular. Right. Because and then you could always do it yeah. again. Yeah, would you? Yeah, start a new subscription service, or I could even like negotiate that I still that we 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 be, stay our own separate entity, or I stay on and keep working. Whatever the case may be, I'd end up selling for sure, or at least trying. Right. Uh, what would you do? Yeah, I would sell because yeah, um, ten billion dollars is hard to turn down. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And you know, you obviously like even if it wasn't ten, like I bought it for one point two. I invested right. another billion in there, and, and I sell it for like six or seven. Like I don't have to work. I, I yeah, I was about to say. I think it's more of a step down from being the CEO, right? You're no right. longer the CEO, so you don't have to fucking run the day to day, right? And run numbers yep. and shit like that. Now mm -hmm. you can just let your your money make money. You can just right. invest in shit. Yeah, at that rich, when you're that rich, that's exactly let how you do it. Take care of that, and pay them to take care of that, mm -hmm. and then go from just there. live your best life. Right, and golf every day. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe if we were like millionaires already, we might have a different mindset. But because we're both broke, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Because you already have, and we're working hard already. If you have a ten billion dollar company, you're probably making upwards of eighty million a year. Right, right. And so to them, they might be like, "No, I'm going to hold on to it and try and keep fighting and keep or doing pass this." Pass it down in the family and keep right, it there whatever the and... case may be, you know. And me and you, where we're broke and we've been working hard daily, we're still <laughs> broke. Like, fucking, you know what I mean? Me more like, so. We're probably like, dude, yeah. sell it. Get rid <laughs> sell of it. that shit. Right yeah, now. fucking go golf I'm every done. morning, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm golfing every day from here on out. Sell it. Yep. <laughs> yep. And you wouldn't fucking lose a dime either because you have yep. all your money invested. You're, you have so much yeah. invested that you're just making fucking millions but yeah because imagine millions how many stocks year. of amazon you could buy with 10 billion dollars oh know? yeah there's just things shit, you could dude. do that just keep your money there yeah things that we can't do <laughs> i don't think i could afford one stock in amazon at this moment in time <laughs> oh, holy shit but yeah i mean it's a fun battle to see i think it's healthy for the anime community i think it's cause... always the best when you have at least two when there's right. a good competition, because High Dive wasn't good competition. No. It was. It just wasn't. But, and they're still around. Yeah. But they're not, you know? Yeah. And like, when's the last Crunchyroll time you talk to somebody and like, oh, did you see that on High Dive? Like, get fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, it's just. We're still going to watch Oshinoko regardless of whether or not. Yeah, High I'm just Dive not going to watch it. Yeah. Either way, I'm illegally streaming it. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, 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 don't say that. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely paying every yeah. streaming service so I can watch it not illegally. Right, right. Why, why are we having this conversation if we're just gonna watch everything? We're not illegally. We're not having. I see what you're doing. I yeah. see that. But it's like, fuck, man. But, like, for anime as a whole, yeah. it's always better to have two people compete because that makes the pricing competitive, mm -hmm. right? So that it keeps it keeps the pricing in check. So even when it jumps, it's not as high because they still need to compete with somebody. It's basically so that's a big thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's a big thing. And then not only that, but it, it, it forces the platforms to try and deliver the best product. Yeah. You know? Because right now, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think Crunchyroll's interface is very intuitive. Like, I couldn't put my finger on exactly why that is. Mm -hmm. But I get frustrated scrolling through Crunchyroll. And you don't for Netflix. Right. It, nowhere near as much as Netflix. Like, Netflix well, has got Netflix it kind of figured like, out. Movies. 
TV shows, yeah, comedy, doing yeah. web comedy. They have a lot. Yeah, of and meanwhile, I'm looking at fucking. I'm looking at fucking uh, Crunchyroll. And I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know where I am. Everything's moving. Yeah, I'm like, I don't... what the fuck, dude? Yeah, I'm like, am I watching? Yawn? Am I watching dubbed? Am I watching? Am I watching? Uh, that sub? shit like, needs to be changed. That like they fuck, need to dude. figure out the dubbed sub shit. That yeah, shit is like very frustrating. remember because for a while it was <laughs> like it would just play in whatever language you had it defaulted to, and then after a while you'd be like, no, I have to actually pick season one American dub. And then you'd click that one. <laughs> and and now it's changing. Like, what are we doing here, guys? Yeah. Netflix has been doing this correctly for years. <laughs> Fucking make a call, man. Like, offer them, like, That's 50 grand. Be like, here's 50 grand. Will you guys tell us what the fuck to do 50 here? 50 grand? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm what making numbers wrong with up. You, you broke I don't. Fucker. I, I, yeah, I'm broke. That's how, that's how that broke you are. 50 grand sounds like an incredible amount of money. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If, if we got 50 grand a day, we'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> I, quit. <laughs> I quit. I quit. I quit. I'm done. I quit. I quit. This is one year salary. I don't work <laughs> here no more. I'm rich. <laughs> Those motherfuckers, yeah. they get all hyped. They're like, oh, I won 25000 and I feel for those people because it's like I would be just as excited as you are, but I wouldn't be as excited in the sense that I can't quit my job. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. still good. I'm going to be here tomorrow. Yeah, I got to figure out something to invest this now, in. The only difference only is, is now I have a savings account. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, hey, let's go ahead and open that up. Five hundred dollar minimum. Got you. Well, and out of that twenty five grand, you're getting taxed. Grand. So, yep. <laughs> yep, you're getting taxed a good amount too. Yeah, a that's damn near half. So, yeah, anyway, sir. but yeah, I think that that does it. Any last words, last thoughts? No, I just hope if if nothing else comes from this, if Netflix stops buying whatever happens from this, the only thing I really want to come of this is Crunchyroll develops their platform a lot better. So it starts updating it. Right, I like Crunchyroll. I like watching my animes. All that stuff. That's I'll I will no still watch most of them. Yeah, no ads. I'm. Yep, I'm great with it. I just need you guys to figure out your platform. It's Damn. just fucking. It sucks. <laughs> so Damn. if you guys can do that. Damn. Then I'll ride with you. But if Damn. Netflix starts buying up your shit, I might not illegally stream and watch things on Netflix. I'm just saying. You Fair got enough. any final words for the people? Yes, um, illegal streaming services give you guys all kinds of viruses. Um, I figured that out when my PC went down. That motherfucker was like, hey, dude, um, you have like 15 viruses in your shit, so make sure you guys have a protection wear you are streaming on illegal yeah. services. Yep, that's right. Make um, sure you always have a virtual condom on your computer. Always. Always, Always use protection, baby. I'm dead ass. Like, do not open up a illegal streaming service without a condom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yep, all right. yep, all right, good. That's a good place to call it. Well, guys, second week back. We're still working our way back. We're still a little rusty. We're trying to get back into the flow of things. We'll get there eventually. Yep. So we'll get this episode out as soon as possible. Um, I think the next episode after this, we're going to do another My Hero episode. Yeah. I think it's going to be Just season five up. we cover. Correct. Yep. Yeah, we so got we'll two do more to catch up five. on. Yeah. Yep. I hope you guys are enjoying Demon Slayer as much as I am. I hope you guys yeah. are enjoying MHA as much as I am. Yeah. These seasons have been fucking fire. Blue Lock's about meantime, to come out. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Next month. Uh -huh. uh, we appreciate every single fucking one of you guys. Yes, I sir. believe we're at 690 something. Yes, we are. For subscribers, we're getting real close to that thousand mark. Getting yes. real, real close. Subscribe, motherfucker. That's subscribe. Right. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, yes, comment sir. below. Let us know, like I said, not only what you thought of the episode, but if you want to see us cover anything. Uh, you got anything for the people? <laughs> you want to see us cover anything? <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. We never would have thought we were almost at seven hundred after almost a year into this. Yeah, not quite, but not we're quite right there. Close. I think we're like um, a month or two away. Right, month or two away, and and we're at 
700 subs. So almost yeah, maybe we should do something special what for you our year anniversary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like a like special, a special episode, ep- an actual special episode. Like maybe a a remake of our introduction episode. Maybe who knows? We'll a figure reaction, something out. A reaction to our first episode. So they'd be watching us, watching us. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would that be? How that'd bad be out of control. That'd, that'd be out of control. That was a horrible episode. Yeah, Maybe that'd we be stream rough. that. Maybe Ooh, that'd we be stream cool. that, and then we just create an episode on the side. Yeah, that might be the way to do it. We'll see. Yeah, that could be our introduction to streaming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or I mean, we yeah. could not. It's whatever. <laughs> whatever you decide you want to do. You know, I'm, 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 I'm here There's for two it. Peas we, in the pot we, here. Can, we can, we can, we can shoot ideas at each other. You know, There's you shoot it, you throw it up, I shoot it down. You know, two peas shoot in the pot. <laughs> shoot it. Yeah, but all right, guys, it's comedy Hashira. Blackie Chan. We out. We out.